The key question in the paper is what is it that this Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board is trying to do through the number of stores it, it operates and uh, the locations in which it operates them? Now, if you compare Pennsylvania to other states, to typical states with private systems, Pennsylvania has a lot fewer stores. It has about 600, whereas it would have had about two or three times more stores if it had been a different state. So you ask yourself the question, well, what is this implicit planner trying to do with so few stores? One way you might rationalize it is to say, well, they're trying to generate more profits. Because after all, when you add stores, mostly you just take business from other stores. So adding stores incurs costs without adding a whole lot of revenue. So one way to rationalize it, given uh, if you thought that stores had low costs of operation, the same low costs they have in other states, would be to say, hey, this state looks like it's basically trying to maximize profit. But another way to think about it, and I think one that's more accurate, is to understand that they have pretty high costs of operation because of their unionized workforce. And given those high costs of operation, they seem to be choosing the number of stores that goes beyond the number they choose for profit maximization, and instead to try to be as convenient for consumers as possible given the high costs of operation. By and large, we have decided that uh, we're going we're gonna to organize economies through markets. And I think uh, I agree, and most people agree, that's a great thing. But the, there are well understood problems with market allocation that certain kinds of regulation can assist with. And I think you know, this is one of a number of studies that shows uh, kind of the pluses and minuses associated with organizing an activity via markets purely versus via regulation. And I think this study reminds us that uh, not all regulations are inherently bad. You know, sometimes we think kind of in a knee-jerk way that regulation is going to mess up the efficiency of markets. But markets left on, on their own can actually deliver inefficient results in some circumstances. And here's a reminder, again, that not every aspect, not every regulatory uh, intervention, and not every government participation is inherently inefficient.